so far guys, it's uh, a cracking morning again, weather wise, so I've got an hour or so before I need to go to work, because I'm on the late shift this week, so I thought I'd have a little cheeky ride out, clock up a few more miles, I'm still running this beast in, um, so I've got about another 250 miles to go before I can have it serviced. So I thought, make the most of the weather. Hot holes and drain covers! Pain in the arse. Yeah, so I've had the bike a week now. Just over a week. A week and two days, to be precise. Um, first impressions. Well, Overall, the bike is fantastic. Like I said, it's done really well on fuel. Um, it's comfy. It looks good. Um, it's got uh, nice clear instruments, which I like. It's a very generic instrument cluster. They try to use on a lot of their models, so they just tweak it here and there but it's good if it you know if it works it's easy to read it's got all the information you require it's good oh look at that that's something for my mate Paul there look piece of agricultural equipment oh, I get all excited about that when he sees it I'll risk it for a chocolate biscuit I've got the bikers we got the versus even odd. Ducati! Go, I haven't been this way for a while. I remember the way now. Dodge the potholes. That's become a new urban game, hasn't it? I don't know what the roads are like where you guys are, but. Um, Here in Essex, the roads are absolutely atrocious. And it seems to be that um, if you report a, a pothole, they will come and repair it. They'll just slap a load of... Um, oh, there's another cart for Paul there, look. Oh, horse-drawn stuff. Oh, something else, look. Oh, it's even got dirt on it. You'll be getting really excited. Um, yeah, I don't know what the, the roads are like around here. They seem to do like a fast fix. They stick some instant tarmac in the hole, tamp it down, drive on to the next hole. Uh, and that seems to be all they're concerned about doing. Um, and then within 24 hours, particularly if you've had a frost, Within 24 hours, it's all been torn out by the first lorry that goes over it. And you end up with a bigger hole and a pile of gravel inside the road. And it's just horrendous. So you, rather than keeping your eyes on the uh, on the traffic where the road's going, all you seem to do is look down two feet in front of your front wheel to see what you're actually going to hit and what damage it's going to do to you, whatever, you know, if you're driving a car or riding a bike. It's even worse if you're riding a bike, um, because at least on a car you've got a bit of stability. Crossroads here, but see it's clear. Yeah, but this bit of road seems alright. We've got a piece of road just near where I work near the entrance to an industrial estate and that's like a motocross track where the, uh, the lorries are sort of scrubbing the tarmac as they're turning in and out and it, uh, it gets repaired, well it seems to get repaired two or three times a week and it's absolutely horrendous. It's on the brow of a bridge as well which makes it worse. So because I'm on late shift, I won't be finishing until after it gets well, after it gets dark. 
quite as warm today as it was yesterday. Um, got a bit of a, a bit of cloud around today. And it's supposed to be a bit of a cold wind but so far it seems alright. I'm not moaning about the weather. You can't moan about the weather in this country. You just have to uh, Wear the right clothing. Look at that. Told me to go around here at 30, went around at 48 miles an hour. Woohoo! Living on the edge. man checking out my triumph. Oh, I had a triumph lad in the war when I was a dispatch rider. Best years of my life. <laughs>